So in this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase, shape up or ship out. If someone ever tells you that you need to shape up or ship out, it's not a good thing. It means that you need to improve your performance or you need to work harder or you need to play harder if you are playing on a sports team. If someone says you need to shape up or ship out, it means that you need to get better or else you need to leave. So the leaving part might be you deciding to leave or you might be told to leave. Let's say you have a job and your boss says, hey, Bob, you really need to shape up or ship out. Basically what he's saying is that you need to work harder, you need to work more efficiently, and you need to do a better job, or either you'll need to decide to leave or you'll be told to leave. So if anyone ever says to you, shape up or ship out, it's not a good thing. Um, and hopefully this is not a phrase that you ever hear uh, yourself. Uh, maybe you'll have to use it with someone, Hopefully that doesn't happen either. Anyways, the second phrase I want to look at today is the phrase jump ship. Um, let's say you have a favorite athlete. You are a huge fan of a certain football player and you've heard that he might jump ship. This means that he might leave the team that he is on and join a new team. Maybe in the world of business, you know that there is someone at another company who's really good at their job and they might jump ship and come and work at your company. So there's no actual ship. No one's actually jumping in the ocean when you use this phrase. We simply use this phrase to talk about someone leaving one organization or business or team in order to join another. This often happens in the National Hockey League in the off season. Sometimes you'll hear about a player who's going to jump ship. That means he's going to leave one team and join another. So to review, if someone says shape up or ship out, it means you're not doing a good job and you better start doing a good job uh, or you might be asked to leave. And if you decide to jump ship, it means that you decide to leave wherever you are at to go work somewhere else or play somewhere else if you're a professional athlete. Anyways, let's look at a comment from another day. Um, this is from the last video and Ken T has this comment and Ken T says, long story short, I like your video. So this was from the lesson where I taught the phrase long story short and the phrase likely story. Um, and Ken, this is a perfect comment. You used the phrase perfectly. Your comment was even short. And basically when you say long story short, instead of telling a really long story, you just tell a really short and simple one and you get to the point right away. Thanks, Ken. Awesome comment. My response was awesome use of the phrase Ken. Perfect. So thank you so much for that comment. Remember, leave a comment below and I might choose yours for the next uh, video tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, anyways, I'm sitting in front of my van today because for the last part of the lesson, I just like to talk a little bit about my life. This van actually, uh, I took it to the garage last week. Um, we had to take this van to the garage because the engine light was on. So we were a little worried that it was something major. We were hoping that it wasn't going to be a major repair. Um, and it seems like it wasn't a major repair. I think it was just a sensor in the engine. So we were a little worried, Jen and I, that we were going to have a huge bill and that we were going to have to spend a lot of money to get our van fixed. But I think it was just a small problem. And while the van was there, we got the air conditioning fixed too. So um, normally at this point in August, it cools down a little bit, but it is 32 degrees right now. I'm sitting in the shade. Thankfully, uh, that I'm in, thankfully I'm in the shade and I can stay cool while I make this video. But anyways, van went to the garage, van got fixed, didn't cost too much. Bob the Canadian is super happy. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow with another short English lesson. Have a good day.